Hello everyone and welcome to the default scene. My name is Jacob and I will be taking you through two methods for blurring faces or anything else in Blender. Check the timeline or the chapters in the description of this video to skip to the method that you are looking to learn. We will start with setting up a track and a mask, then we will blur the face of the actor in this shot with the compositor, and finally we will use the video sequencing editor to blur the face of the actor. So let's get started. First, open up a VFX workspace in Blender and arrange the windows however you like. I never use the dope sheet or the 3D view when I'm tracking, so I close those off. Next, load your footage and set the scene frames. Now zoom in on the actor's face and find a place on his face that has some contrast. Right here, the shadow around his nostril looks good. Control and left click to add a tracker and track the tracker throughout the whole clip. Next, switch the movie clip editor from track mode to mask mode and add a mask by control and left click to add mask points. Hit Alt C to close the mask off. Personally, I like to add points without curves and then once the basic shape of the mask is set, I select everything by hovering my mouse over one mask point and hit the letter L. And then I hit the letter V and select single align from the curve menu. If your handles are inside your mask like they are for me, go to mask and then switch direction to put the handles on the outside. Now, just arrange your mask in a shape that fits what you are trying to blur. Last but not least, hover your mouse over one control point of your mask and hit L to select all the points, and then shift select your tracker. Hit control P in order to parent your mask to your tracker. Remember, each point needs to be parented to your tracker, so make sure all of your points are selected. You can make sure that your mask is parented correctly by heading over to the Mask tab and then checking that the tracker is selected in the Parenting drop-down menu. Now let's blur some faces. Head into the compositor and arrange the compositor however you like. Then add in a Movie Clip node, a Mix node, a Blur node, and a Mask node. Connect the Movie Clip node to both of the sockets of the Mask node and put the blur node in between the bottom snake of the movie clip node and the mix node. Lastly, connect the mask node to the factor of the mix node and select your mask. Now increase the size of the blur and watch the face of the actor blur out. If you want to soften the edges of the blur mask, duplicate the blur node and put it in between the mask node and the mix node. Now you can add a feather to the mask. Set your render settings and render out your footage and you are good to go. Now let's use the VSE to blur the face of the actor. First, head down to the Processing drop-down menu located in the Output Properties tab of the Properties window and uncheck Compositing. This will ensure that we are using the VSE to export and not the compositor. Now head over to a video editing workspace and add in your movie strip. Put the strip at the start of your timeline and then hit Shift D to duplicate the strip and bring it one row up. With the top strip selected, hit Shift A and add in a Gaussian blur strip. You can now add a blur to your footage by increasing the pixel count in the properties panel. Now head over to the strip properties for the Gaussian blur and go to the modifiers tab. Add in a mask modifier and select the mask option. Then select the name of the mask. Lastly, Head over to the Strip tab and change the Blend Mode to Alpha Over. You can now see that we have the same result as through the compositor. But you can easily scrub through your footage as well as edit your footage using all of the tools that the VSE provides. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful and I hope that your day is going well. See you next time.